I love to ride my bike. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my small but meaningful channel. Finally got my new stand of my uh, well head mount, helmet mount for my GoPro because the other one one of the one of the parts broke off, rendered it useless. But anyway, happy to be filming again. Um, today I got the question, a comparison between the MT-10 and the Kawasaki Z1K. Which ones? Well, what my thoughts were about the bikes. Well, as I said to the person in question, Kawasaki Z1K is more of a hooligan bike. A really twitchy throttle, short steering, it's a wheelie monster. Well, the Yamaha MT-10, in my opinion, it's, it's a fast bike, a really fast bike, it pulls really fast and everything, but it drives a lot softer. In my opinion, it's more of a forgiving bike, as in, it has softer suspension, it has a bit of a longer wheelbase, uh, so turning in is a bit, is different than with the Z1K. Um, other than that, they're quite similar if you're looking at the engine, except for with the Kawasaki you have to rev it up, well, you do not have to, but you rev it up higher to be at the power than with the MT-10, well that's, that's what I noticed. <coughs> Uh, Yamaha riders will probably like the MT-10 a lot more than the Kawasaki Z1K unless you're not liking Yamaha. <laughs> it's not. I don't. I'm not saying I don't like Yamaha because I do. I have a Yamaha a Virago, and uh, even back then, the, the 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 difference in engines is is noticeable. Difference in build. Driving styles. So, um, comparing the Z1K with the Yamaha MT10, it's not it's not it's not an easy job, if you ask me. Comparing bikes like that, if you're asking me about uh, short gearing, long gearing, because. When I was testing the MT-10, they they constantly change the gearing of the bike. Well, it's not like it, it's it's a big difference, as in stock-wise, but they do. And with the one with the Z1K, I've always been driving with the same setup. That was a close one. This guy's in a hurry. <laughs> um, but yeah. Z1K, Z1K or Yamaha MT-10, I'm more of a Z1K fan, but if you're driving an MT-9 or an MT-07, you, you, you definitely have to go and check the MT-10, you, you, which you probably would, will. But if you're looking for something more uh, of a hooligan style bike, then the MT-10. The, the Kawasaki Z1000 is, is a great bike to be like, a bit of a renegade. <laughs> and the style, I love the style. I really adore it. Um, so my preference goes to the Z1K because of the styling and the hooliganism. The MT-9... Uh, I don't think it's a pretty bike. It's a good bike, uh, parts-wise and engine-wise and all that, but if you look at the look, the front end of the bike, uh, I don't know, it's like it 
a bit of a Lego bike. It's bits and pieces, all like separate and together. Like there is no line in there is no line in the in the MT10, and you you have it a silhouette. And the Kawasaki Z1K has a really nice one, a really nice silhouette. Um, but yeah, it's all about preference. If you like the MTO10, if you like Yamaha and you have an MTO7, then just go and get the MTO10 or at least demo one before you buy it. It's the season now. It's the this is the time you should go demo bikes. It's summer. Well, Belgium doesn't Belgium doesn't really know summer, but well, <laughs> you have a lot better weather than you have in the fall of or, or in the winter. But yeah, you definitely should go a demo a bike before you buy it. Uh, not that I did that, but uh, I'm really advising to do so to other people. So that was pretty much it about the MT-10 and the Kawasaki Z1K because I don't really know what to say more than that <laughs> I've only been driving the MT-10 for like half an hour and we've been speeding like crazy so I couldn't really test the bike at its fullest the Z1K I did God, did I love that bike! And I'm getting a brand new one really soon, I hope this week. We'll see about that. But for now, it's this baby. I'm gonna get some lasagna for me and my kid tonight. Asked my boy what he wanted to eat tonight, and his first thing he said was lasagna. <laughs> so I'm getting some. <laughs> it's not fresh cooked because I don't really know how to make that, but yeah, lasagna from here is good enough. We'll see. So here we are, back from the store. My backpack is absolutely f topped up. Oh. I can't. It's physically impossible to add anything more unless it's liquid. <laughs> I'm like a woman. If I go to the store, I'm like a bitch. I go like, I only need lasagna and bread. Maybe some mushrooms and some paprikas. But then I come back with like a full backpack because now I brought chocolate and some more chocolate and potatoes and some chicken. <sighs> yeah. If it comes to shopping, I'm like a bitch. A bitch. Let's just pass these. Oh. Hello, Mr. Smoked Screen. <laughs> How are you doing? Do you know what brought me to the attention lately? A lot of people driving with big Audis, big Mercedeses, fucking BMW. See what I mean? Fucking big ass BMW. You can see, oh, this is a fucking German guy? Oh yeah, baby. Like a boss. Everyone's leasing their car or what? Because it's impossible for them to afford a car like that if you're like a fucking construction worker, or is it? Unless you're eating sandwiches with budget, budget meat or budget stuff on it. Or chocolate paste. <laughs> or marmalade. Peanut butter and jelly. 
I fucking hate that. Peanut butter. Oh, oh. Respect to the people who actually like it, but I. Oh, it's so fucking filthy. And I, I do like peanuts. I like butter. <laughs> but I don't like peanut butter. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? What? Someone is driving very slow today. Very slow. Oh God! Traffic is being a bitch too as well. I like a little bitchy. Look at this. Look at this shit, baby. Look at this. Traffic as far as the eye can see. Yeah. And it's like 12 in 12 noon on a fucking Monday in July. Don't you guys have a fucking holiday or something? Between trucks. probably the scariest thing I've ever did is drive in between trucks I do that on the freeway all the time when I'm filtering but it's scary as fuck sometimes like this is <laughs> even though I got room enough <laughs> it's still scary I don't know if I want to be following all this No, this bike doesn't do bum bum bum. It only does. <laughs> that poker up ah. god what do we like the bike life even with a packed backpack weighing like 40 pounds I still like riding my bike like Freddie Mercury says I love to ride my bicycle I love to ride my bike <laughs> I love to ride my bicycle. Oh yeah, baby. Truck, 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 truck. Best by me. I didn't see a little car in front. <laughs> Baby. <sighs> Even though it's a not one thousand it's not a one thousand, oh I'm still enjoying this very much. I've said it like a million times to you guys also on YouTube. This bike is not fucking bad. Unless you're used to driving Harley Davidsons. Then stick to Harley Davidson's. <laughs> that will get you a lot more respect than when you're driving the bike like this. I always get stuck in fucking neutral. I don't know why, but it gets it gets stuck there. My ER6N had it, and this one has it. It's like a Kawasaki disease or something. Not that it annoys me that much that I won't 
but I don't want to don't want to ride a Kawasaki because I just fucking bought one. Scooter, scooter boy, scooter. Scoot, 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 scooter. Yeah, baby! <laughs>